Hey everyone, this is Mike with JetAdmin and in this video we'll go over storages or how to work with files in JetAdmin, how to upload, download and preview those files. All right, let's get started. So I'll show the functionality, the basics of the functionality here on two exa uh, three examples. It's going to be Firebase, it's going to be Airtable and it's going to be our internal database jet uh, tables. So we'll start with Firebase. So in Firebase, when you connect Firestore, for example, in my case, uh, I already have my storage set up here. And when you have your storage, Firebase storage set up, and when you connect Firestore, you'll automatically have this section uh, connected as well, uh, the storage section. So I have my storages already connected, synced into JetAdmin. Okay, so I can now, uh, first of all, I can select the storage here. Uh, so I can click and right away I can do a few things that I also can do here with the regular collections. I can uh, drag them and change the order. I can click into, I can click into these three dots here and rename my storage here. And uh, here on the main kind of area, I can first of all track how much space am I taking with the files that I have. So how, how far am I from topping out? And uh, also kind of the main functionality here is I can upload files. You can click here, upload files. I'm um, sorry, upload file. And I can choose whatever file I want to upload. I can click upload. And it's gonna right away show me uh, all the information. Uh, and I can also click here and open this PDF in a separate window to look and to inspect this PDF. All right, let's check if it's also uploaded here. All right, here it is. Okay, looks good. Now, if we want to view our file or see more information or delete our file, you can click into one of these files, just click into it and you will see all the information here, the extension, you'll be able to open this file in a separate window by clicking on this, on its name essentially. And you can also delete this file and just exit out to go back to the regular view, okay? Another option that you have here is, apart from uploading files, you can also add new folders. So in my case, I click here and I can name it. So let's say I have a separate folder of PDFs. You can click create. And when I create my folder, it will just list it here on top of all the files and I can also click into it. It will open up my folder and here I can upload a new file into this particular folder. Okay, to go back to the main section, I can click here. So there's gonna be the hierarchy here of all my folders and files. I can click here into the main storage and go back to this view. Okay, uh, and we have advanced features here. We can go into queries uh, and you, we can create upload queries, get queries, remove queries, and create directory query, which is pretty much creating this folder. So we can do this using HTTP queries instead of doing this manually. Okay, and now let's uh, move on to the next use case is our Airtable. Uh, I have my Airtable here, it's design projects, and I have PDFs here. So pretty much this, the file type here in my Airtable, and I've connected uh, this design projects collection. And if I move on to the right here, I can see all the PDFs are here. And an important note, sometimes when you connect your data source, uh, not all the fields are gonna be rendered correctly, meaning that not all of them will inherit the proper field type. So you will need to go and change that manually. And I've covered that in a separate video. If you want to learn more about it, check it out. And here, once again, a double click. So pretty much we can treat it as just a regular field. So we can click into it to edit it. We can uh, it, delete it, we can upload a new one and we can download it to work with it later. Okay, and last use case here is Jet Tables. It's our internal database where you can also store files. And it's very simple here. So we can create new column here because that's our internal database. We can create new columns, not only computed columns, but kind of real uh, columns that change the structure that will be part of the data structure in this collection. So click here and click add new file. You can see this kind of data, data icon here. And we can choose the type right away. It's gonna be file and give it a name. And we click create. And when you created your file, once again, it's gonna be uh, show the preview of the, of the type of the uh, file here. 
and we can do the same thing that we did with Airtable. We can click into it and here just choose file or drag and drop into this area. So we can add this one, our CSV, and it's going to be uploaded. Okay, here you don't have to bother with connecting the proper storage. Uh, all of that is taken care of by the internal JDB system. We store it in our servers, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, that was it. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.